It is the year 2020, and the world has changed. Twenty times are tough. This man's tougher. I can't believe you still practice such primitive medicine in this country. Oh, yeah? Well, we do the best we can. So the last thing you remember is this Eugene creature was having a Mexican standoff with some guy in a black armored suit. Your controversial super force detective, you know that. Okay. So what about Zack Stone, huh? I heard he was assigned to help you. He's slowing me down, so I left him behind. Zach was slowing you down? <sighs> well, that's a good one. So Super Force interfered with an international arrest. Is that right, Detective? Look, why don't you go chase a fire truck, huh, before I interfere with your future? <laughs> Private agents fighting for their own justice. What's the word you Americans use? Quaint. I'm very disappointed Detective Stone was not present when Inspector Zeitgeist was assaulted by our local vigilantes. With all due respect, I wish you'd stop lumping Superforce in with this other creep. Who is a creep and who isn't is not the subject at hand, Captain Frost. What we're trying to determine is where Stone was during the confrontation. As you know, I've been laid up. Of course you have. We won't bother you again. We wish you a hasty and healthy recovery. Thanks a million. I tried to fix a suit. I didn't have the right materials. I don't know what you're talking about. I mean, it looks perfect. How did you do it? I had special training in scientific fabrication. You know, you're one of three people who know who wears that suit. <laughs> well, two and a half, really. The half is E.B. Hunkerford. You talking this way? Okay. So you know my secret. And I know where you are. Good relationship are based on mutual need. You know, I bet he's ducking me because I beat him at chess. He's such a lousy sport. I simply cannot find him, FX. It's as if he's vanished from the face of the earth. Don't say that, Mr. H. Are you sending out the recall program? Of course. If he's vanished, he's taken the suit with him. I gotta find him. got to. I guess I should have let him win one game, huh? You, Gene, Captain. You is the 21st letter of the alphabet, standing for the fact that this man was the product of the 21st attempt to create a genetically perfect human being. Sort of a test tube baby gone wild, huh? Eugene was very nearly ideal, Captain. But Bergman, the scientist who spearheaded the experiment, added to Eugene's makeup the genes of artists, poets, and so gave him an ultimately unstable makeup. Unstable? He became emotional, unpredictable, dangerous. Oh! I'm so sorry. I, uh, I broke my wrist, you know. Come in! Hey, there's a guy here to see you. Says it has to do with the missing monster. They wanted me to come here to plant the seed of war. A war is bad. In your country, I saw people help each other. 
Das ist so ein Fehler. I didn't mean to hurt your lady friend. She attacked me and uh, I reacted as I was trained to. I'm very ashamed. I thought I could be lost and forgotten in this part of the city. But I was lonely. So lonely. I want to find a place where I could live like an ordinary person. Is that too much to dream of? I'm here with the police, Eugene! Give yourself up and nothing will happen to you! We can fight them. We're stronger than they are. Eugene, you said you hated war. Now, this is only a small war, but it could be just as deadly. Listen, you were right when you said this is a great country. When they understand that all you want is a chance at life, they will let you go. He'll kill me. I won't let him. of diplomatic immunity. This is none of your business, Superforce. The man's turning himself in. This is standard police procedure even in your country. Let him come out! Furthermore, I do not wish to spend my time worrying about you, Zachary Stone. In the vernacular of my youth, it really flips me out. Oh, no, no, look, please don't do that. I mean, it makes me nauseous. Look, E.B., I'm sorry, but there was nothing that I could do. Why didn't you contact us via the radio in your nightstick? We didn't put it there for laughs. The entire suit malfunctioned. Until Eugene fixed it. Until Eugene fixed it? I have to admit, this dude's pretty good. And, with a little practice, your gargantuan Mr. Fix-It could almost put me out of business. Yeah, but you're a much better dancer. Thanks. Wait a minute, Zach, what are you doing? Snooping around in other people's closets? Mr. H, why don't you help him? I've done all I can. There simply isn't any obtainable information on Inspector Gunter Zeitgeist. Well, he's definitely got official authorization, but no personal history whatsoever. I mean, it's like this guy was born yesterday. Well, maybe he was. If they could create Eugene, anything's possible. Well, whatever he did, man, when he took that bullet out of my side, man, it healed in a snap. See ya. Wait a minute, man on a mission. Where are you going? Back to the precinct before they give my desk away. Can I come along? <laughs> I'd really like to meet Eugene. Okay, just don't arm wrestle him, all right? Never tempted. Eugene's gone? Gone where? I don't know, Zach. Their papers were in order and I had to let them have him. Who, Carla? Who are they, huh? I mean, why aren't we following standard police procedures in this case? Look, I don't have to answer to you, Detective, or anybody else in this precinct. I don't get to make the rules around here and neither do you. I take my orders from above. Fine. I know who to talk to. You're becoming quite a regular here, Detective Stone. Yeah, sorry about that, but uh, Eugene was my assignment. I have the right to know what's happened to him. 
The man known as Eugene was granted diplomatic immunity in accordance with international law that gives him the right to be tried in his own country by a group of his peers. Wait a minute, he doesn't want to go back to his country. I mean, he doesn't have any peers. Don't you understand this, that he is the only one like him in the whole world? I'm afraid it's out of our hands, Detective Stone. We can't afford to create an international incident. Nor is there any reason to do so. You accused my country of dropping a Frankenstein monster into Metroplex, which I, of course, denied. But in point of fact, you were correct. Eugene is indeed an experiment gone wrong, and he must be destroyed. Destroyed? He's a human being, man. And you don't stamp malfunction across his forehead and wipe him out. You reason with him. Eugene is no longer your assignment, Detective Stone. Your friendly neighborhood superforce did your job for you. Okay. Then is it possible for me to at least see him before you deport him? I don't see why not. Thank you. You came. I like company. Do you recognize me? I can't, I can't think very well. They gave me injections. I'm really sorry about this, man. This whole thing is my fault. And I didn't realize how much power that zeitgeist had. But I'm gonna get you out of this, okay? I'm gonna find a way for you to live your dreams. Trust me. You remind me of a friend of mine. I forget his name. friend I've ever had.
super force. Well, there's only the three of us. The downfall of your society will undoubtedly be your uncontrollable sentimentality. And the downfall of your society will be your complete inability to give a damn about anybody. So, what will it be, my friend? You think you can stun me before I can destroy this beautiful creature? Or shall I shoot you first? He stands in the experiment that failed. But I'm not. He is. He's a CG. The product of the 26 test. The ideal they wanted. A murderer! Let him live, Eugene. Or you won't be any better than he is. I don't know where to go. Anywhere you want. It's a big world when you're free. Maybe one day I'll come back here. If you do, promise me one thing. What? You'll look up Zack Stone. Viacom, 